driving the sleigh. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, good morning. It's the last day of Vlogmas. So I'm actually doing laundry really quick. I always start up my water first and put the soap in and you know, like let it fill up. And I opened it up, I was gonna put my laundry in and look at the water. Number one, I'm glad I saw it. And number two, I'm glad I hadn't already started my wash and that happened on the rinse cycle because then you would just like not even have any clue. I didn't come on here and talk about laundry. I was actually just gonna vlog and be like, hey guys, it's the last day of Vlogmas. And then that happened. So the job that I had mentioned to you guys that I had done the second interview for and they said they would let people know before the holidays one way or another. Well, they haven't let me know anything one way or another yet. So I don't know and I don't want to rule them out. Um, but that job is one that would be, I think it was supposed to be 15 hours a week at the most. And then the job that I'm testing that I actually am testing with the woman I know this is a test thing. So there's no guarantee that it's gonna last. There's no guarantee it's gonna be longer than, you know, they might do it for two weeks and be like, this isn't a good idea, this isn't working. If it is gonna be a job, I'm gonna do the job, but they don't know that this is gonna simplify what they're trying to simplify. I'm gonna test that out and we'll see. I'm excited to do it no matter what, because number one, I really like the people, because I know some of the people, I know like half the people at the company and I like everybody there. Everybody there is amazing. This will never be a full-time job which is perfect they don't work full-time either they are people who don't want to work full-time so it's not like weird for me to say I don't want to work full-time they're like yeah us too you know no who wants to work full-time nobody does that brings me to, <laughs> to what I'm actually trying to tell you guys I think for the next maybe two weeks or so I might only post once a week and for this next week I might post once and that's it, or I might not post, which I know that's kind of like, what are you doing? If I post anything this coming week, the week after Christmas, it's gonna be pretty much a uncut, just forever long video like I did last year of Fairby opening her gifts. I filmed that anyway, and I really liked sharing it last year, and I know not a lot of people watched. I mean, cause I made it be like, it was a really long time, but it's not gonna be a lot of sit down talk probably, I don't know. I say that and then again I get rambling so you know. I want to allow myself time to get some more backstock filmed. I like to have you know four videos at least filmed that I can like say hey I don't really feel like filming or there's nothing going on and I can edit this and put it up. Um, so I kind of want to allow myself some time to you know just gather up some footage and also like I said I will be starting a new role which isn't necessarily a time thing it's just a mental thing and I just want to make sure that I'm able to you know devote what I need to that and not feel like I have expectations over here and I'm disappointing anyone <sighs> so <laughs> I feel like that was forever just to like tell you guys like a little thing but I, obviously you guys know I like to explain and I like to tell you guys my reason for things so that's what's up. So I wanna show you guys what I'm gonna knit for my Christmas project. So typically knitters, probably crocheters too, you do a Christmas Eve cast on. And so what this is, this is a project that is supposed to be a selfish project for yourself. So most people who knit will typically be doing gift knitting for you know the last quarter of the year. And so you do a Christmas Eve cast on project that's supposed to be something just for you, you know, a selfish gift. Well, I don't gift knit at all. Um, there's a ton of reasons behind that, but I don't. So we'll just leave it at that. But I wanted to make myself something that I've never made before. So what I'm making, I'm gonna find it, is out of Pom Pom Quarterly. It's their first edition, but I got it as the anniversary edition. They're fingerless mitts, they're right here. So they're fingerless mitts, but they have a flip top so you can cover your fingers. And I'm really excited about them. So this is the yarn I'm using. So I thought that it would go really good with my cowl. So that's the plan. Maybe let's go outside. Ooh, buddy, it's cold. <laughs> it actually wouldn't be bad. If it was like maybe like 15 degrees warmer, it wouldn't be bad in the sun. Oh, another thing else to tell you guys. So I got a UPS notification. Like you can sign up so that if something's coming to your address, they'll let you know, you know, a package is out for delivery. Like 
regardless of if you have information on it or not. So I got an email that said, you have a UPS package out for delivery today. And I was like, what did I order? And like, I don't even know what I've ordered. I guess we'll find out together because I'll definitely let you know what it is <laughs> because I'm like, what have I done? What? I'm like wondering if maybe it's a mistake, you know? There is a possibility that it could be Fluent Pet Buttons because I ordered her another set of buttons. I didn't get a shipping notification. So I kind of don't think it's that, but we'll see. I called my grandma, the tornado one. <laughs> That's the only grandma I have. Um, but I called her and talked to her for a little bit. So that was nice. I wanted to talk to her now because, you know, Christmas sometimes gets hectic. Like she has family you know near her that I don't have near me so I just wanted to make sure I could talk to her this week and you know talk to her for a little while this is gonna sound sad but like my grandma's like legit my best friend like my best in real life friend <laughs> so I'm gonna and she's like that's sad you need to have friends your own age but like my grandma's my best friend for real like I love my grandma so we're a lot alike which is really funny because I'm like 40 years younger than her she is a person who doesn't like cold like I don't like cold we were just talking about that about how basically it's supposed to be up to 70 and that's like just almost warm enough <laughs> she's like if it's 80 I'm happy because that's not too hot and not too cold and I'm like you know yeah I, I kind of feel the same way I'm a little bit more tolerant like now it's like in the 50s so I feel like that's as long as it's in the sun I'm fine but I have to agree with her if it's you know like 80 that's pretty freaking good if i lived near my grandma i would totally make her vlog with me because that would be funny she's funny she's a southern woman and she's funny and she's one of those people that like don't know they're funny and they're just naturally funny like she doesn't have to try like she just says things that are just funny I don't know she's cute as of right now this is like the longest vlog of kind of pointless nothing but I also feel like this is the best way to go out which I feel like is true gin and Verby fashion anyway because we're you know that type of people <laughs> so this is what it was if Verby would move it was I say it's just buttons but I mean that's exciting but I I didn't realize that they were out for delivery and UPS didn't exactly identify what it was. <laughs> so this is what it was. So we got another 10 hex tiles and 32 buttons and I did a whole entire unboxing of this, but I'll just show you quickly since we're here. Um, so this is what it looks like whenever you open it up. There's a whole like guide. It comes with stickers for the buttons. It comes with a bunch of hex tiles and then it comes with a bunch of buttons. So I wanted to update you on the water. So it's still reading like high, like 91. We are gonna go look at Christmas lights and we're gonna bring you with us. So we have one place that we typically go to every year where they um, have it so that you can actually park and look at the lights because obviously I'm the driver you know, Fairby doesn't have her license yet. So I have to actually park and look at lights. It's not as fun to like look and drive. So we're gonna go there and hopefully we can get a parking spot and show you guys what's up because it's really cool. Fairby knows where we are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're not even up there yet. This is how far we are and we're already excited. Vlogmas guys. We hope you have a really Merry Christmas and we will see you soon. Bye!